All right, uh, what we're going to do today is uh, I'm going to set up the gazelle tent. After that's set up, then I'm going to show you a unique feature and how we can take advantage of it with the uh, Kelty Backroads awning. We're going to use, which usually is used on like SUVs and uh, overlanders, use it a lot for awning on their vehicles. But I'm going to use it on the gazelle tent. And I'll show you how I do that. It's going to be uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So first thing we're going to do is set up the gazelle. Yeah. As you can see, really fine mesh so that the little tiny bugs can't get in either. See the inside is just a screen roof. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that back down and put the rain fly on. And that would be considered, you know, like the front door. And what I found is the dimension from here of the pop-up of the gazelle to this point of the pop-up gazelle is the same width as the Kelty awning. The only question is, you know, how do you uh, attach it? So I got a set of four, I only need two of them, of these tarp poles. These are adjustable height pointed ends. They work pretty good. Um, I'm gonna use just a couple of these guys and I've also, these have tie outs, so we can stake it out and I'll show you what we do next. Okay, so I'm going to take the uh, one and make it about the height you want. It doesn't have to be perfect because you can always change it. And I think I want it about, about that high. So I'm going to make the other one match it. Pretty close. I'm going to put one right here. And I'm going to put one right here. Now what's cool about these, uh, this particular tarp pole, and I think it's true of a lot of them, it has the, the ball end, so, so it won't go, you know, won't damage a tarp if you don't have a hole. And then it's also got the pin that'll go through a grommet. All right, we'll set that back there. Just like that. And all we're going to use is a one of these guys, but that's just going to go around there and then stick her in the ground pretty good. All right, and we'll expose the, we want to expose the pen. She's there pretty good. She's not tied out yet, but uh, we'll do the same thing to this side. Okay, so now we've got the gazelle set up. And it's got tarp poles at the pop-out spots. We're going to back up here now because I'm going to set the Kelty up next. All right, that's the uh, Kelty before it's set up on top. Now what's uh, cool about this is at each corner, if you look, each corner it's already got this grommet set up, right? We're gonna use that on our tarp pole on both sides. We're gonna set it up there and go from there. See? Goes right there like that. It's perfect. <laughs> Fits like perfect. Now you still have this flap. And the Kelty, if you're looking here, it's got this extra tie down that you can use. A lot of times you use it on your car. But what I'm going to do is take it. I'm going to take this line straight back here. 
to this other corner of the gazelle, right? And it comes with this loop. I'll show you here. It comes with the strap just like you see it. Right? It comes with a lot of extra. But I just took that last loop and we're going to snap it right around that. And that holds the one side. We'll do the same thing over here. It's on. Then I can adjust it, tighten her back up. All right, now let's look inside. We've got the Kelty awning, which has these sides roll up. Now I roll them this way so that the rain doesn't gather in them. All right, you can kind of see how things are. What I want to add to it is this little baby that is for RVs, really, or whatever. But these rugs, you cannot beat these for sandy conditions, dirt conditions, water conditions, because the sand will go through them, the water goes through them, and it gives you somewhere out of the mud, you know what I mean, or out of the grass, or out of the, out of the sand. And it's just a small, a small rug, I'll show you. So if we drop that little rug right in the corner, you can see it gives you kind of a nice spot to come out of the gazelle. Now you got some covered area. So. Okay, let's see how it's set up the uh, back roads here fits on the gazelle is just amazing and then with this floor like this too it makes it really nice come out of the tent you're not right in the dirt you're also not going to get rain in the tent and i've actually had this thing in some pretty healthy rain and also um on the back side here i made this the cooking area you can make it a seating area or whatever you want but anyway this is a, a six foot table i had in my garage or in my shed um and it fits like perfectly at that end and when you're cooking or something you can just open this for some ventilation but it's plenty of room above it that you don't have to worry about the heat issue uh, man you can look out see what's happening <laughs> see the bees are sitting out there in the fire pit i think i'll pull out the wings of the kelty and see what it looks like with the full setup so looking at this, I see that it's obviously my poles, my tarp poles are set pretty high. And that's why it kind of has this bend to it. That if I lowered those poles a little bit, which I could do, it would, you know, change the shape of the Kelty a little bit. But I kind of like the way it's laying right now. But anyway, it does have that adjustability. And I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's pouring down rain. I Right now, it should be a good rain tomorrow. Before I forget, this little rubber cap and this particular style of tarp pole just go right over the top. Bink! And just be there to help hold it on in case you have light wind try to pop that off of there. Now I should note the dimension from corner to corner is like exactly six feet. So it's like a square because there's two other pop outs. So the six feet that way, six feet that way, there's the other. And I've got some ideas on something else I'm gonna try with a tarp to give a little more sun protection. It has started to rain. Let's see how it's doing in here. Well, it's nice and dry. You can see the rain is running off. It's not coming up into this area. 
We'll see how it does when it gets to be a heavier rain. Everything is completely dry inside. All right, the next thing we want to cover is a day like today when um, the sun's out. It's fairly cool, but it's inside the tent. Kelty's no issue. But when you go inside the tent, it's freaking really warm just because the sun is hitting it. And I, I open up all these shades. That helps, but I can tell you that uh, if it's not a lot of wind, it's, it's still pretty, pretty hot. Now, the whole top of this is screen with the rain fly. So I'm gonna take the rain fly off. The only thing is when I take the rain fly off, we still get a lot of direct sun. Let's take the rain fly off and I'll show you an idea. Instead of the rain fly on a sunny day, what we can do to get that airflow, to let that hot air out, right now it's all being captured by the rain fly so I'll show you what I'm gonna do it's kind of cool so now the rain fly is removed that blue rope pay no attention to that but we're still hooked up with our Kelty like you see and inside here you know it actually feels a little cooler already just because but we still have the Sun like right on us so we want some shade up there, and uh, but we still want the airflow. So here's what we're gonna do. You know we've got the Kelty hooked up to two of these uh, poles, the tarp poles, right? So what I'm gonna do is put another tarp pole here, which is exactly six feet from that one. And I'm also gonna put one on the other side, which is six feet it makes a six foot square. Okay, let's do that and then I'll show you. Now all I'm doing here is putting a little, one of these little ball bungees on there to hold that, uh, hold that pole there. What we have here is a six foot by six foot tarp. It was a six foot by eight foot, but I cut off two feet. It was really frayed. It's an old, it's a used tarp, but it measures a true six feet many times when you buy these cheap tarps they're not exactly six feet they're like three inches short this one measures exactly six feet and then luckily i didn't have to put another grommet in it ended up being six feet exactly to this point before the i cut the two feet off the end so now we have grommets in the corners of a perfect six by six cheapo plastic tarp. Now we're going to put this on top of each of those grom each of these is going to go through one of those posts and we'll see what see how that works. Gonna be interesting. So I positioned I positioned the posts a little bit better. Just tighten them up a little bit. You know what? I like it. Just a little floppy you can adjust it. But there it is, tightened up a bit. You can tell the sun is right up there. And we actually have some decent shade and decent airflow for the Gazelle hub tent here. Fantastic. We're gonna take her camping and see how she works now. Going to the beach. Okay, now in the winter, with the rain fly on, you want to keep the heat so the rain fly would go on top, but there's still a lot of airflow uh, lost through the top. So we're going to try something else with this six foot by six foot tarp and take it off of the posts. And I'll show you what we're going to do next. Like that. Now, with this six, this exactly six by six, it fits perfectly nice and snug to the rain fly attachment now that gives you another layer to keep the warm air inside now we'll attach the rain fly on top of that now you can see in here how we repositioned 
the tarp now it's tight against the screen and uh, actually is doing a pretty good job of making it warm in here again okay let's put the fly on and you can see we'll just pop the rain fly in with that tarp attached here in the panhandle we have sunny days warm and then at night it gets pretty cold it'll get down into the 50s 40s during this time of year the fall so now during the day if the sun's out and it gets warm we put the six by six remove the rain fly at night we reposition the six by six put the rain fly back on and we are much much warmer inside at least all the hot air is not escaping real easily through the ventilation it's important to remember that if you do this you're losing all that ventilation so when you zip things up make sure you leave air <laughs> you want to continue getting air all right it's important I wouldn't zip these all the way up no matter what anyway even if it's cold out, I like to keep those cracked. Just allow fresh air in. All right. Cool. The Kelty Gazelle combination with the six foot by six foot tarp. Holy Toledo.